Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Reborn by Amethyst. Let's start out here. This is a very interesting, uh, a very interesting fan game that I, I am a very big fan of, and, uh, let's see, uh, I, I already started a little, um, little test file. Let's, uh, erase that real quick. Alright then. Greetings, Challenger. Welcome to the Reborn region. My name is Ami. I'm the manager of the, yeah, of the prestigious Reborn League. Please allow me to direct you. Would you like to view the game's controls? Uh, why not? I actually just forgot overnight. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, they, they, they moved him around a bit, so you must already be, accompli be an accomplished plant trainer, but in the Reborn City, where, we, where we're currently heading, there are a few Pokémon remaining. The destruction of the environment has forced wild Pokémon to flee. Soon, all that will be left is humans. Reborn is a region ravaged by disaster and impurity. Only recently have we begun repopulating the area since the Armageddon years ago. But among those who flock to the area are some of the strongest trainers ever known. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? So, tell me about yourself. Are you a boy, a girl, or do you prefer to think yourself as not fully either? Out of curiosity, I actually picked this option. It picks you, um, it lets you choose between very unisex looking people. Um, I'm a boy, and the guy on the left looks more like me, honestly. Is this right? There we go. Okay, got it. And your name? Uh, let's see here. Oh, now here's something I really like. You can use your keyboard. I am the game dog, so let's start this out here. Uh, oh, I almost put a Z in. Alright, there we go. So you're a game dog. Oh, wait. No, whoa, 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 whoa. What is your name? I, I, I forgot to put the extra uh, D there. Let's see. D. Oh, my goodness. It is a bit odd to, to play around this, but okay, here we go. I am the game dog. That is my official name. So you're a game dog. Yes. Okay. We're nearly there, so train. Yes, the train will be pulling into the Paradox Station shortly. I've arranged for an acquaintance to meet you there when you arrive. She'll be your guide to the city. So without further ado... Hmm. Do you hear something? Run! Uh-oh. Hey, are you awake? Oh, this doesn't look good. Good, you're okay. I'm not sure how, but someone caused the train we were on to explode right as it pulled into our station. Fortunately, I was able to get out of there in time. But who did? Hi. Julia? Julia, wh what did you do? What? I didn't do anything. I was at the gym, and then suddenly, boom, I just came running. Because you know if there are, if there are, yeah, things are exploding, I gotta be there and see it. It's so cool. Um, I don't think it's, it's, yeah, it's a coincidence that the bomb detonated right when the train pulled into Paradox Station. Somebody planned this to try and destroy the station. By the looks of it, they did, they did a pretty good job. This isn't the time to be admiring their work. I'm going to have uh, the perimeter locked down immediately. The culprit may not have escaped the area just yet. Sorry, game dog. I have to go, but I'll have a yeah. But I'll have someone check up on you. Go to the grand hall. It's a short stroll down the road. She'll probably be waiting for you there. And don't worry about yeah about all this. We'll take care of it. So you're game dog. I'm Julia, captain of the cheer and pep in all things uh, bubble yeah bubbly and bright. Oh pop quiz. Are you going to take on the reborn league? Why not? Correct, then I'll be seeing you very soon, because I'm also the electric gym leader. I'll be looking forward to your, chal to your challenge, so go on, go go down to the Grand Hall already. Alright, so we already have a little bit of active terrorism in the world of Pokemon. This is a, um, let's talk to some people here while I explain this. This is a, um, a fan game by Amsis, as I mentioned before. Um, and I like to consider this, what would happen if they were to make, if a Game Freak were to go ahead and try and make a Pokemon game that's like rated T or M. And I don't mean that in like a creepypasta way where there's uh, like blood all over the place. Like, no, this is actually done very tastefully and it, it's a, it has a really intriguing story and one I actually am a, am a big fan of. Um, I'd also like to point out that the um, the game is not quite finished yet. Um, to, to, give a, uh, to, give a, to give kind of a comparison, they plan to have 18 gyms in the game by the end of it. As of the time I'm recording this, um, they have, um, yeah, as of, as of the time they, I'm recording this, they have added 12. So they're about two thirds of the way done, um, yeah, progression wise. I'm not sure if I'm going to be um, able to. Well, I, I'd like to do the whole game, but I'm not sure if by the time I get to that section, the whole game is going to be finished. Let's hope so, though. So these police won't move. I can't even get back to my own house because of these because of this stupid lockdown. Well, I'm sure it won't last long. I also want to apologize if the game appears a little laggy right now. Um, the, not, not to say that the, uh, I actually also lagged when I go into a new area, I don't want to say the game has bad optimization problems, but I've noticed that a lot of people in do some or have, like, lag problems when it comes to very, um, 
when it comes to very crowded areas in this game. Now, I am actually a little sad that it appears, or that uh, it, it cuts in this early. Um, I swear it'll get better at some point, though. This is actually a very crowded part of the, part of the city, all things considered. So, let's head up to, uh, to, uh, to the Grand Hall right here. Hey, are you Game Dog? I'm Victoria. Nice to meet you. Ami asked me to, to yeah, asked uh, that I help you get signed up for the re to the reborn system. Don't worry, it doesn't take long. Let's go inside. So let's set up for the uh, for the for the, for the yeah for the gym challenge, which I'm assuming this pretty much is. Hi, surprised to meet uh, yeah to meet me so soon. It turns out we caught the culprit almost immediately. He's being interrogated downstairs right now. Culprit? You mean the one behind the bombing? Yeah, and it seems he's not working alone. Anyway, it's of no concern right now. So you're both here to get signed up for the Reborn League, right? That's right. Kiki said that that it would be a, yeah, that it would be good for my training also if I started over completely. So she asked uh, if I could get a new Pokemon too. Well, normally we reserve them strictly for newcomers, but for Kiki, yeah, I suppose I can make an exception. Okay, thank you. However, Game Dog will have the first choice then. That's okay. I don't mind at all. All right, so now we're gonna pick our starter. Now, which ones, uh, which three are they gonna choose? Well, uh, um, these Pokemon are all set aside for the new trainers to choose from. Go ahead, take one. Yeah, take any one you like. I'll make it easy for you too. The top row is grass. The middle is fire. So the bottom is full of water. They're arranged from left to right in the order they were discovered. Go on, have a look. Now, this is something I actually really like. This room right here. This is every single starter, as of the time this game is released. Like over here, like way on the left, we have a. We have, uh, we have Bulbasaur, like we got, um, this one should be Trico. Way on the right here, we have Chespin from Gen 6. So any starter you want, like if you have a personal favorite, um, you can just pick it right away. My personal favorite starter in the series is uh, Cyndaquil, actually. However, I've used Cyndaquil quite a bit in my, tra in my travels as a Pokemon trainer, so I actually want to try being a bit more creative and uh, go for this one right here. This is Fennekin, the, uh, the, fo the Fox Pokemon, the fire starter from Generation 6. Okay, so we're gonna get a Fennekin, and I would like to nickname all my Pokemon too. Um, let's see, and I know what I'm gonna name this one too. I'm gonna name him Lord. Oh wait, Lord Dreadmore. Oh, there we go. Yeah, from a from, from a Steam game called Dungeon of Dreadmore. He's he's like the final boss of that game, and he's also like one of the hardest bosses I've ever fought in my life. I like him a lot though, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna name my Fennekin after him. Yeah, all right. So yeah, if we go into our Pokemon right here, there he is. There is Lord Dreadmore himself. So uh, let's check out his stats. Uh, we have the typical thing we have here. Like we have a... Is not even a good nature. I'm not, I'm not too picky about that kind of thing. That's yeah, not too bad. However, one thing I do also really like, and I see a lot of fan games of this... Oh, he even has his hidden ability. I think that's his hidden... Yeah, that's his hidden ability. He usually has Blaze. But um, yeah, so one thing I see a lot of fan games like this, uh, like this do is if you uh, hit the enter button here, you can actually see their EVs and IVs, which is... um. A very technical part of Pokemon. In these games, though, they just let out, let you flat out see them. You usually have to go to a checker to find these out. This one seems to be a pretty average, um, a, a pretty average uh, Fennekin. I mean, uh, let's see. I, I the, the number on the right can go anywhere from zero to thirty-one. Well, that, that's pretty all right for a playthrough. That's not bad. So let's see. Uh, we also start with a fire uh, with a fire attack right here, and uh, let's go back here and uh, with our star chosen, let's talk to uh, let's talk to Ami again. All done. Excellent. Well, let's not keep the Victoria waiting. All right then. Which one did you pick, Game Dog? Oh, don't worry, I won't pick one just to beat you. That's silly. I I already know which one I want anyway. Well then, shall we? Okay, wait here, Game Dog. Yeah, I, I always find it weird that the rival always counterpicks you. I mean, I, I don't think they do in this game actually, but let's see here. Hey, you're cute. What? Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Hey, was Ami just here? Oh, she's with someone else. Okay. My name's Kane. How about yours? Game Dog, pretty name. So by the looks of you, you just got your first Pokemon. Are you gonna challenge the league? I'm starting out fresh. Oh yeah, I'm starting for fresh too. Well, by necessity, but never mind that. Anyway, what do you say to a battle, Game Dog? So we're gonna have a very first battle against uh, one of the quote unquote rivals. This is Kane. So let's start this out here. Um, let's see. Let's see how well this runs. That's not too bad. All right, Pretty Boy Kane would like to battle. He's starting with Nidoran. Very odd that our first battle is not against someone with a starter. And uh, let's see. I normally use Tailwind because I'm that kind of guy who likes status ailments, but. Or, or like a uh, debuff, but oh wow, that's a solid three hit kill right there. Yeah, we should have no problem here. All right, there we go. So that does another third. Um, oh my goodness, I even burned him. <laughs> oh, that's a bit lucky. All right, let's let's finish this guy off here. The burn might actually finish him off. Nope, not quite. Let's scratch him. There we go. All right, that that finished it off. All right then, and we're getting a nice and powerful level up and uh, our stats right there. All right then. Game dog defeated pretty boy Kane. Cute and talented. And there we go. We all we get our gold for winning. Very nice. Come on, let's get our Pokemon healed up. There's a certain build, yeah, there's a center build right over here. 
So, um, I do believe this is one of those games in which they merge the Pokemon Center with, um, yeah. Welcome, would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I do believe this is also one of those games in which they merge the Pokemon Center and the Mart, which I do appreciate. Here you go, we hope to see you again. Um, I might have to check that pretty soon, though. There you are. Sorry, I kind of stole Game Dog. Oh, Ken, I forgot you were coming by. It's okay. When when we were gone, I met Game Dog and had some fun. Had some fun. I didn't know you were, you were like that, Game Dog. What? Ha, huh, no, we just had a battle. Oh, that does sound fun. I want to test out my new Pokemon, too. Come on, Game Dog. Up for one more? You two, yeah, you two do that. Kane, come with me. I'll get you set up. Yes, Master. Master? Nothing. Um, okay, come on. Alright, so that's a bit intriguing. That's a bit, um, ambiguous for the time being. He's a very interesting character. We'll get him to later. Well, let's go. So, let's see what, um, our other quote-unquote rival Victoria picked. Um, I forgot if they counterpick you in this game. I don't think they do. Let's see, she picked, uh, Tepig. Alright, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, he resists Ember, though, so I'm gonna go for a Tail Whip to lower his, uh, defense. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. So, his defense is roughly two-thirds now. Oh, he has the exact same idea. But I wanna say early on, they usually just, like, pick, um, random attacks at the time being. Alright, so let's see. We're just, uh... It's gonna tackle me. That is... Ooh, that seems to do a little bit more. I might actually lose this, honestly, unless I get lucky with a... Actually, that... Oh, man, this is gonna come down to the wire here. Let's see who gets lucky first. Uh, nope. Okay, no, you just decide to tail up again. You don't want to do that. He could have killed me right there. See, this is why I'm the Pokemon Master, or at the very least, like, a Pokemon PhD. All right, Lord Dragmore gains some more experience. We're gonna have to level some before we even leave the first Pokemon Center, which is really neat. Ugh, alrighty then. Game to feed Apprentice Victoria. Well, I don't know what to say. And we get our gold. All right, then. You're not, you're no ordinary trainer, are you? Well, I did, like, just start. Hey, Ami is waiting for you guys, uh, whenever you're done. I'm gonna hit the road. See ya. Alright, then. Oh, good. Let's go get registered for the league. Ugh, this, this, this game is so good. We'll get into the why later. Like, this, this looks pretty around the mill right now. It's actually, it, this game gets extremely interesting later on. Sorry to keep you waiting. No worries at all. I actually went ahead and entered both of you into the system already. So then, all, yeah, so, all, yeah, so then all that's left to give you is these. Firstly, a Pokédex. You know the drill here. I like how they don't really bother telling what they do, because if you've played this game, you know, you know the gist of Pokémon. You know, you know what's going on here. Secondly, the Poké Gear. This device allows you to check the map and listen to music. It's basically like a primitive iPhone or one of those smart tablets. Finally, as a bonus from Silphco, please take these running shoes. With these shoes, you can hold the spacebar or toggle the S key to dash. And don't worry, nobody cares if you run indoors. There we go. That's another thing I like a lot. All right, and and you're all set. I'm gonna go check on the interrogation with the bombing. Good luck, both of you in the league. Thank you so much, Ami. Good luck. All right then. I do believe the last thing we get here is uh, all right. I, yeah, I should get going and tell Kiki I'm on my way. Oh okay, yeah. Oh, who's Kiki? She's my teacher, and I'm an apprentice of uh, um, of the. Uh, Apophilo Academy. There are some um, big words in this game. As a result, I may not be able to pronounce them all correctly. I'll try my best, though. It's in the Azarine region of Reborn. If, you ever, if you're in the area, be sure to drop by. Well, you have to. Kiki is also the fighting gym leader. Anyway, here, these might help you. And we get five Pokeballs to start out. I know everything says there's no wild Pokemon in Reborn City, but that's not true. They just like to stay hidden. Look around. I know you'll find them. Oh, you're right. Yeah, once you're ready, you should head over to the Peridot Gym. It's right in between here and the Peridot Station. Good luck. Alright, so that was actually a very successful uh, uh, first episode right there. We got our starter. We had a couple of battles. Let's save our game real quick. Oh, wait a second. Dude, that... Come on, game. That's a... Uh, okay, that, that yeah, that, that's a test file. I can get rid of that. I didn't even have a Pokemon there. Alright, so I think I'll see you guys next time. Let's play Pokemon Reborn. Thanks for watching.